The, one of the things that I think is the most important is community. Wherever I have felt um, the most hopeless, I have found, I have been able to, to find that hope again and re-inspire that hope through connection with other people. And, um, you know, you might be thinking, well, how do we do that right now? Just stay with me. Um, you know, I'll, I'll tell you a story. Uh, in, in Black Lives Matter Toronto, we have these t-shirts uh, that are emblazoned with gold and they say we will win at, on them and, and we wear them to, to some of our protests and events. And more than just a statement or like a conviction, it is actually a framework for how we do our work. Um, and what I mean by that is we don't, we don't go into any sort of campaign or action thinking well, we're just going through the motions. Somebody has to respond to this injustice that's been done. Somebody must do something about this. So we're, we're gonna do the march and then we're, we're gonna go home and that's gonna be it. We actually truly start from the place of, if we're gonna change this situation so it never happens again, what does the world need to look like? And what do we need to do to make sure that the world changes in that way? And if you start a discussion with people, from that vantage point, from the vantage point of possibility, of like the world can change and this is what it'll look like and just start the discussion. When you're bouncing ideas off of one another and generating all of these different possibilities for a, a beautiful future, it's almost impossible not to feel hopeful about that. It, it just generates, um, you know, this uh, community commitment to changing one's own local environment, but also possibly the world.